in this video we will discuss the problem adding array elements the problem says that given an array of size n and an integer k you have to add the first two minimum numbers of the array until all the elements become greater or equal to k so we have to find the number of operations that we will take so let us quickly consider this sample test case to get things better so if we look at this sample test case so in this we have been given n value as 6 we have been given k is equal to 6 we have been given the array as 1 10 then 12 then 9 then 2 and then 3 so what we have to do is we have to make all the elements of the array greater than or equal to k and we have to find the minimum number of operations for doing that so initially we will say that okay the number of operations is nothing but 0 okay then the problem says that you will take out two minimum elements of the array and you'll add them up and like if i take this and this 1 and 2 so basically i'll remove like i'll have one and i'll have two i'll add them up so i'll get three okay so this takes one operation and i'll remove one and two from the array and now instead of one and two two three will be inserted okay so this takes one operation so the number of operations become one after that what will happen if i see are all the elements of the array greater than 6 uh, greater than equal to k no in that case what will i do again take out the two least elements so the two minimum elements now is 3 and 3 so i'll take them out so 3 plus 3 is going to be equal to nothing but 6 so instead of this 3 and 3 i'll remove them from the array and i'll add 6 here now the number of operations that i took like this is the second operation so operation is equal to 2 now okay it gets updated by 1 now if i'll observe so all the elements of the array have now become greater equal to k which is greater equal to 6 that means greater equal to 6 so this means in two operations i was able to perform this particular task so now you might be thinking that okay maybe we can do it in brute force way every time you keep on iterating and then keep on checking and if any element is not greater like if there is a single element that's not greater than k then you take out the two minimum elements and then you perform the task but actually you will not be doing so okay because that will take a lot of time so here your knowledge will be tested on based on which data structure how, what is the knowledge of data structure that you have so let's say if i have this array okay so what do i want to do i want to count count the number of operations so if i see that so do i know any particular like i want a data structure that can help me to store the array elements in such a way that the minimum element i can access easily right i can access the minimum element easily and when i remove that minimum element then after that i can get another minimum element which will be the second minimum element okay so if i think of a data structure you can pause the video and think so if i think of a data structure that can help me to get minimum element of the array efficiently because if the minimum element of the array is greater than k i'll immediately i'll stop the operations right so if i think seriously so the data structure that comes to our mind is nothing but the min heap okay min heap data structure like its priority queue so basically in terms of heap i'll use the min heap that will allow to get the minimum element at the top it is very efficient data structure because it allows in log and logarithmic of n time it allows us to have the minimum element at the top okay so what i will do is i'll insert all the array i'll make a min heap okay so basically i'll make a min heap in which i'll insert all the array elements and once i insert them so let's say i keep on inserting them so i'll insert 10 then 11 will be inserted 12 will be inserted let's say 9 is inserted 2 is inserted 3 is inserted okay 1 is inserted so which element will be at the top of the min heap the element that will be at the top of the min heap will be the minimum element so i will check is the minimum element of the array what is it greater than k greater than equal to k no it's not so in that case what will what do i do so i'll take out two elements of the array right i'll take out like i'll take out the first the minimum element so in let's say in a i store one then i'll pop it out i'll remove it right after this i need the second minimum element as well so now in this updated min heap that is the after performing the heapify process which takes logarithmic of n time i'll get access to the second minimum element as well that is the current minimum element so i'll get access to it and i'll remove it so b becomes 2 then after that what i will do is i'll add a plus b so a plus b is nothing but 3 okay so 1 plus 2 is nothing but 3 right so i'll insert this element now i'll count it as one operation so one operation is count operations become one after that what we'll do is we again need to check what is the minimum element so the minimum element is still lesser than k so that means i still need to take the minimum elements out so and perform the operation 
So take this minimum, like what is the minimum element? Minimum is three. So take this out, store it, and then pop it out. After that, what is the another minimum element? Yes, the another minimum element is three. So I'll pop it out, take it, store it in B. Now add them up. So the addition of three plus three is nothing but six, as we know. So insert six inside the priority, uh, like inside the mini or the priority queue. Okay. After that, what you will observe is the like you will update the number of operations as two because this this was the second operation that you did. Now you can observe that what is the minimum element. So the minimum element is nothing but six, and the minimum element is greater equal to k. So now you will stop because the minimum, if the minimum element is greater or equal to K, so that means all the other elements, as you can observe, if six is greater or equal to six, then obviously all the other elements, if the minimum element of this min heap, like is obviously if the top element, that is the minimum element is greater or equal to K, then all the other elements are obviously greater or equal to K. So I've achieved. This. So that is how we'll do it. And notice that if we want to keep on taking, if we keep on taking, if we want to or the min heap. So in that case, the priority queue size or the min size or the min heap size. Let us try and implement the code for this particular logic that we have just discussed. So, so what I mean, we will have a min heap. So if I want to declare a min heap in let's say C++, so there's a syntax different for it. It is not like normal max heap. So min heap syntax is different in C++ and all the other languages. So I'll first of all declare the min heap in C++. You can also declare it in your own language, whichever you use. So this will be nothing but int comma vector int comma greater int. Okay. Once we do that, so we'll name it as priority queue. After that, we need to insert all the array elements into the min heap. That is the priority queue. So we'll insert it one by one. We'll keep on pushing all the elements of the array into the priority queue. And after that, we will do what we will say that while if the priority queue size is greater than equal to two, if there are two or more elements, then only I can take out the two minimum elements. Okay. So if there are two or more elements inside the priority queue and the priority queue dot top if the top of the priority queue if the top element if the minimum element since this is a mini so if the minimum element is lesser than k so in that case i need to perform the operations so in that case what we will say is we'll say that okay the operations increase by one because i'm going to perform one operation i'll say that okay a is equal to nothing but pq dot top okay then i'll pop this particular a out of the priority queue and then I'll take out the second minimum element because now, now the minimum element of the now the new minimum element will be nothing but the second minimum element. So I'll take that out of the priority queue and then I'll perform the pop operation again. After this, we need to do what we need to say that, OK, let's say C is this. So C is equal to nothing but A plus B. And uh, like this is the updated uh, value addition. And we'll, we can simply push this inside the priority queue. So we, we are basically pushing the A plus B thing. After that, we will simply return the number of operations that we have done. Let us try and compile this code and see if it works on the samples or not. It seems to work on the samples. Let us try and submit this code as well to see if it can get, get accepted. So you can clearly observe that our solution was able to pass all the test cases that were there. And talking about the time complexity, so since for one time, like if you will talk about the time complexity and the space complexity, so the space complexity obviously is going to be order of n because we took a priority queue in which we are storing all the elements of the array. Now talking about the time complexity, so as we know that the heap fire process for one element takes order of log n time, so for n elements it would take log n log n time, correct? If for one element the heap fire process takes log n time if there are n elements, so th that will take nothing but n log n time. So the overall time complexity will be nothing but order of n log n. In case if you understood this explanation, so make sure to comment understood in the chat and like the video as well.